Hey everyone, so this is the very first Oculus Rift development kit off of the assembly line. We're going to be unboxing it and showing you how it all works today. I am pumped. This is awesome. Alright, the moment we've been waiting for. Let's uh, take a look at the Oculus developer kit. Kicks off with a letter to developers, welcoming everybody to developing content for the Rift, as well as a set of instructions. We'll be studying that uh, pretty in depth. Right to the headset itself. Developer kit that we've been living in for the last few weeks now. Has a new head strap to it. Yeah, so we've added an over the head strap that helps to compensate for the weight of the new display. Makes it a lot more comfortable, really improves the stability on your head. Uh, everyone who's tried it out has said that it's a really good improvement. In addition to the headset itself, there's a, a cable to a control box. This allows you to turn it on, turn it off. It combines all of the uh, power, HDMI, DVI, or USB into a single cable, six feet long. You put it on your desk, plenty of room to be developing. In the kit itself, we have all the cables. In fact, more than enough cables. Yeah, you got plenty of cables. So, we've got a USB cable. You have uh, two HDMI cables, one three foot, one six foot. There is a DVI cable, and then we even have an HDMI to DVI adapter if you want to use one of the other HDMI cables. There's just, that's a lot of cables. It's all the cables, man. So we didn't leave anything out on that. So we've also got a power supply. This is a five volt switching power supply. Um, it's got a US plug on it by default, but we have all these different adapters so that you can use it all over the world. We got a lot of units. Over 50%? Yeah, over 50% of our orders came from other countries. So this is something that we really had to consider and make sure that no matter where in the world you were, you'd be able to develop content for the Rift. On the headset itself, there's a set of eye cups. You can actually take these out and use different uh, focal length eye cups. So if you're like me and you have glasses, you can take these off. Um, I think I go with the C cups, the lowest, because I have pretty bad eyes, pretty bad vision. If the lenses don't work for you, you can put back on your glasses and you can adjust the assembly on the two sides. Yeah, so we've got a slide assembly that allows you to adjust the eye relief of the headset. So you're moving the lenses and screen relative to your face. That means you can make room for glasses, you can put it right up to your eyes. It all depends on how you want to adjust it. And it feels pretty comfortable with glasses on as well. Okay, so we just finished the unboxing. Now we're going to plug it in and get started with the SDK. So Palmer just plugged in the power, USB, and DVI coming from the computer. Click the power button. Now it's going to run the Oculus World demo. This is a simple C++ sample that comes with the SDK. It allows you to get started pretty quickly. It shows you how to integrate and handle head tracking, sensor fusion, and optical distortion for rendering. Take a little virtual vacation to Tuscany. If you're a Unity or Unreal developer, you'll be able to use those out-of-the-box samples and get started right away. That wraps up the unboxing. We can't wait to see what you guys create. And I want to thank all of our backers for supporting us through this whole process. Without you, we never would have made it from foam core and hot glue prototypes to having a mass manufactured virtual reality headset. And remember, this is only the beginning. We'll see you in the game.